welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I send you guys much love and hope that you guys are all doing well. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, uh, join the family. It also really helps my channel uh, to be more in that, that algorithm of YouTube. If at any time, Libra, you resonate with this reading, please hit the like button. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not for someone else. Um, as I was praying and meditating for your reading, there seemed to be a theme about, um, well, what, what was coming up was, how do I explain this? I was, I, it was almost like I was watching a movie, but there were two people. I don't know if it's a friendship or relationship, but what I was getting was that one person in this energy was kind of, they had reached a point where they realized I, I can't live like this anymore. I feel like the other energy was kind of nitpicking, um, very, very narcissistic, like pointing out everything that the other person did wrong, right? Uh, and there was this inability for these two people to be able to see eye to eye where one person thought they were pointing everything out to help with growth. That person also was refusing to take any sort of accountability. And what I kept hearing um, in my, uh, intuitively, the words that I kept hearing was, I just, I love you, but I can't do this anymore. I can't live like this anymore. I, I, I constantly feel bad. I feel down. It's like you're putting me down. So I don't know who that um, message is for, uh, but please, again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And let's get into this and see, please, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High. Messages, please, for Libra in regards to the energy that is around them. What's going on, please, for Libra? What do they need to know? So, yeah, this is about something. This is about your security. Discovering what makes you feel secure, where your support comes from, strong emphasis on your family and home life and your connections here. Thinking about something in the past. There's a lot of challenges though in regards to like somebody being honest or strength here. You wanting to do something your own way, it may be kind of going against the grain as opposed to what other people in your connections or home life agree with. Clarify, please. You have Pisces energy here. Could also be dealing with an Aries. Somebody here is desiring freedom in being able to make their own decisions because I feel like there was a lot of confusion. Also, there's something here with spirituality and, and just really wanting to feel, finally feel as though you are supported and, and that you have good people in your corner in regards to your dreams, okay? Um, I feel like there's somebody here who is a part of something that is very overwhelming that did not make you feel secure, which goes into what I was talking about. Like, I just can't do this anymore. I'm not happy. I don't feel happy. Okay, so it's very challenging as you try to discover your yourself, your dreams, your self-confidence, and discover what it is you really want to do. Yeah, look, I open it up to who you are and your desires, okay? Like making, somebody here may feel like they're wearing a mask as you're trying to protect, project, uh, protect yourself because you haven't had the support that you have desired, okay? So it's almost like, okay, I'm gonna do it myself. I gotta show up for myself. I'll be the support that I'm looking for. Pay attention to your dreams here as well. And then also somebody needs to pay attention to making sure that your expectations are actually realistic. Like somebody here could really, um, like your idealization of what a home life or what a family looks like, okay? Making, you make sure that it's, it's realistic here. Or that could be you or somebody else that you're connected with and that's also where confusion is coming from. Please show me, please, for Libra. Yeah, overload. Ooh, this has you really stressed out. Feeling very, very overwhelmed. Accident, caution. Be, yeah, careful. 
that you don't um, make yourself sick from too much stress here. And you feel obligated to do something. Again, you feel obligated to do something because there's there's an energy of somebody just not understanding. This I, who was this? The Virgo had the same type of you know. It's like being on a different frequency. Six of Swords, traveling, moving away from a very difficult situation, moving to calmer waters, okay? The moon, Pisces, strong Pisces energy here. So Pisces season could be very, very significant for you. Some things that have been hidden under the surface, okay, will be coming to the top. So be prepared because some of this could be your own emotions, your own feelings, your own traumas that need to be addressed, released, and healed. Spirit wants you to focus on your independence, okay? Nine of Pentacles, okay? Um, really establishing yourself, investing in self, creating the stability and the growth that, that you're looking for. You've got something cooking, okay? You're, you've got something that you're cooking here. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles as the outcome. It's taking a little bit longer than you expected. Wow. You have some type of soulmate energy here. It could be a Pisces. Strong water energy with Pisces, okay? This is soulmate. King and Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. Um, you have Cancer under here too. Like an offer is coming in here. Um, the only thing I don't like is that the Knight of Cups is here. Because it, that, that concerns me in regards to this person's intentions, right? Like they're, they, they, they're showing up as a knight in how, in what they're able to give. Okay. Now their emotions are in this king of cups energy, but the way that they're presenting something to you or the way that they're actually going to give is they're still needing to grow whoever this is, which may be why you're dealing with a lot of pauses in a situation. You have the hanged man. The Seven of Swords, that's not what I want to see. Well, let's go into this a little bit deeper, Libra, and see what comes out, okay? Why is this uh, Six of Swords here, please? I feel like you're creating a new journey, a new path for yourself. Yeah, Two of Wands at a crossroads here and needing to make a decision. This is in the recent past. Um, it feels like you were needing to make a decision here about which direction to go. There was something, like I said, where you just had had enough. It, it was not bringing you happiness. Um, you were always feeling kind of down about yourself in regards to this situation. There looks like a lot of travel here. Somebody could have went to the beach. We've got the ocean. I've got a surfboard here. Uh, but looking out to the future and wanting to release yourself from something that was no longer building you up. You have good news, okay? So you made a decision here that may have surprised other people, okay? Um, this is showing up as some type of miracle or extreme happiness for you in the recent past. Wow. But here's compromise. This kind of makes a lot of sense. There was good news to you, but it, it puts you in a compromising situation. Somebody's ego gets in the way of your growth, like somebody somebody could have been be careful that somebody's pride and ego doesn't cause legal issues or put somebody in jail especially with justice and trap card now that's very very specific but there's somebody here who's trying to trick you or they like to play the victim okay very very alluring behavior that is toxic behavior it's making me think of the devil card here but so somebody may be coming to you with some type of message about reconciliation, but they, I also feel like this is somebody who's put you in a compromising situation. The number 33 and 42 here that may be significant. Tell me about this, please. There could have been a third party situation. Maybe you're going to receive a message about a third party situation in the past, and that's what prompted you to make a decision to, to leave.
mother wounds need to be addressed and you need to ground yourself, okay? Let's take a look at this Pisces energy for current energy. The number 18 may be important. You have nine as well. Four and 11. Tell me about the moon. What came in with this moon for Libra, please? Current energy. Eight of Cups. Somebody feels like they're drowning. There is distance between you and somebody. Uh, I do feel like this distance was necessary with the Eight of Cups. Uh, it was required for growth. And it does look like something was burning in on fire when you walked away from it. Like, I just can't, I can't do it anymore. Uh, this situation really triggered you, okay? It triggered you and it, it, it was for your growth. This could have been a karmic soulmate or a karmic uh, connection here that was meant to teach you how to break free from certain perceptions and behaviors to help you grow, to help you ascend. Tell me about the moon and the eight of cups. Self-love, that's what I'm talking about. To help you love yourself more, to help you discover where there were voids. Like, why do I keep attracting these situations? That's because something inside of me is missing. Um, and so there, this was to tap you into your own wounds that need to be addressed so that you can fill them with light and move towards something more fulfilling here. Self-healing, self-concern, and independence. Yeah, withdrawal, pulling back. You may feel very lonely at times because of this, but we have to go through a period of isolation and being on our own to really fill those gaps spiritually so that we can um, align with what it is that we're looking for. I feel like you're very, very disappointed in somebody's intentions towards you and the way that they treated you, yet yeah, it, it stresses you out. You may have felt rejected by this person, but remember that rejection is divine protection, okay? Yeah. What did I tell you? You are healing yourself successfully. There's a very strong focus on abandonment wounds. Those are those gaps that I'm talking about. You needing to speak your truth. The past is holding you back. You must release. I mean, that's a difficult part of the healing journey, Libra, is releasing the past. It means that we fully forgive a situation and understand the purpose and what we could learn from it. And we, we lay it at God's feet so that we can continue to move forward um, that's the true way of healing that's the true way of ascending is we have to come to a point where we release this baggage and that's kind of why i like this knight of pentacles so now i'm seeing this knight of pentacles differently for you it's making sense if you notice he's dropping off a lot of heavy coins that would be that baggage and that is also why the knight of pentacles takes a very long time to reach his final destination of commitment because you have to go through the process of properly releasing anything that is holding you down, bogging you down from being the lightest that you can be, right? Pun intended. Why should Libra be focused on this nine of pentacles, please? Queen of pentacles, because you're growing. Wow, this is truly, with the Four of Swords, this is truly about self-healing, self-growth, and expansion. The Queen of Pentacles is the queen of loving herself. She's very, very grounded. She's fantastic at self-care, okay? Knowing when to close off her energy and stand tall, knowing when she needs a break, but also being kind, considerate, and compassionate to others, okay? But this is a time of being kind, considerate, and compassionate to self. I do strongly feel like there are feminine wounds, mother wounds, that need to be addressed to help you step into this independence because the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles gives me the 10. You're at the last step before you are ready to enter the next phase of commitment. And typically this last step takes a very long time. It is a growth process. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean, and I'm just saying this for because this is a collective reading, it doesn't mean 
that marriage is with this person in the past. It means that you are, it, it could be for some of you, you have to use your discernment, but I, I strongly feel like this is you separating from this past situation that's been holding you back, investing in yourself at a level that you never have before, so that a new opportunity, a new love, a true love, a stable love, whether that's friendship, whatever it is, it's a new connection that is very, very grounded, very, very grounded, will have an opportunity to come in so that you can plant the seeds and grow, okay? It's almost like you're gonna meet somebody who's been doing the same thing. Yeah, 10 of cups and the magician. This is how you manifest and create the fulfillment that you've been looking for, the harmony that you've been looking for by going and sitting with this pain, sitting with this trauma, this three of swords, and allowing yourself to um, alchemize the energy. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles, please, with the Queen of Pentacles. You have saving. Some of you could be practicing abstinence, which is, if you're doing that, that is like the perfect way to accelerate your growth, just so you know. Um, preserving your energy and not giving it out to others so freely, okay? Something that you, yeah, mask. Deception, inconsistency living and learning and maybe that's why you're you're kind of you're closed off here there's something going on in a group this could have been friends family but there's a lot of frustration and you feel like you're taking a risk being around these people because of all the inconsistent behavior lies pretending delusion deception all of that um in in, in, in a way it was absolutely a lesson Okay, and so that this is where you may be wanting to pull back your energy here from certain people and, and not sharing your energy as much as you used to, protecting yourself. Clarify, please. Yeah, close friends, tight circle. There's something going on here with people around you that you, you, sh you need to be aware of. Heart chakra, it's it's... It's affecting your heart. Somebody's watching you. They 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 stalk you. Okay, that's demonic activity. And and as I say, demonic activity for stalking, I open it up to black magic. Okay, which all right. What uh, that explains the moon and the seven of swords that I saw earlier. Let things fall. God is realigning you. You need to detox and declutter your energy and space. Pay attention to your dreams. That's a focus here too. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your visions. Making sure that you're protecting your energy, putting on God's armor. What is this Knight of Pentacles, please? I'm sorry, my youngest daughter is playing Uno on her iPad with her best friend. I guess they're getting a little excited because I can, I can hear her screaming. Or not screaming, but yelling. All right, Knight of Pentacles and Five of Wands, okay. Um, I feel like you struggle with impatience, okay, Libra? And that's why Spirit is trying to put you in a, in a period of isolation and separation here with the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. You're needing to pull back your energy because of this, there it is, demonic activity, devils. There are people that are wanting to take from you. Again, different frequencies, lower vibrations. They are getting in the way of your dreams and your goals. This could be somebody who betrayed you here. Um, you may feel, again, like you have a lot of people with these seven of wands that are up against you, that don't believe in what you're doing, that they just don't get it, okay? There's a lot of conflict around you. Be careful because whenever I see wands, you have to remember that this is also intentions, people's intentions, the projection of energy that they're sending to you, right? Which in other words could be viewed as spell work. Everything we do and say with intention behind it does affect other people. 
Just because you don't see the energy physically with your physical eyes leaving your body and, and touching someone else doesn't mean that it's not happening, which is why I feel spirit is trying to isolate you, especially with the seven of wands in this bubble, because they're trying to protect you too. They're trying to get you in a space where you protect yourself against this, this controlling energy. Somebody here, yep, eight of swords, trying to keep you stuck and trapped. Somebody here enjoys these challenges that you go through. Okay. Um, somebody views it as competition. You could have competition here. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. You may feel like every time you take a step forward, you take 10 back. Stop sharing every move with everybody. What is this Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, please? Yeah. They're trying to bring you into peace. That's what that Seven of Pentacles is. There's the bribe and the nightmare. There's an offer coming to you to get in the way. Please be careful of those people around you and what their true intentions are. Because some of it looks like a just a come up. Okay. Clarify, please. Introvert. There you go. Closing yourself off. Some of you may be feeling like you need to get off social media here. Privacy. Separate online community. Be at peace. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict around you. A lot of conflict around you in regards to somebody who you thought was loyal or should be loyal to you. Okay? This is a karmic relationship. Yeah. And that's what I've been seeing across the board. That, that's what is holding you back. There were some difficult lessons that had to be learned in regards to this connection. Okay? Could have been a Pisces, strong Pisces energy, but something is going to be revealed to you, something that was hidden. Like, I feel like somebody's lied to you about something and you're about to find out the truth. Gut feeling, listen to your intuition, and a Taurus could also be involved, or Taurus season will be very, very significant for you. All right, let's see here. Closing messages, please, for Libra. Titanium rainbow quartz, multifaceted. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation and person that you are thinking about and talking about, or I'm sorry, asking about. That makes sense. And that may be why you feel overwhelmed because there's so many different layers to this situation, but that those layers, think of them as levels. They were each a level of karmic learning, okay? Let's see here, clarify. Topaz, forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it is blocking your health and your happiness. Emerald, ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Emerald is Taurus birthstone. So this could be something that is happening in Taurus season, like a celebration that's coming towards you or a ceremony. And then you have Malachite on the bottom. Prosperity, there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Okay, Libra, I'm sending you guys much love. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you guys next week.